Well, we are back again with another podcast episode, and it is a very uh, special month, I think. It is. It's Mental Health Awareness Month, and I think I'm okay to say that this is something that you and I both have struggled with. Yeah, we've talked a lot about it. Uh Uh-huh. So, it's something that's very near and dear to our hearts. So, uh, we're going to take a uh, just some time to talk about it on today's podcast um, here at the Grayson County Health Department, and uh, this podcast is also brought to you by uh, the Grayson County or the Grayson Health Academy. Yes, the health so academy. the health academy, the academy that comes to you. The academy that comes to you. It does a lot of different things. So this is just one of the things um, that the academy offers is for podcast ep- episodes to offer education. So that's a great thing. So you and I did a little bit of research before we uh, came to the table to discuss uh, today, which we know based on the things that we're seeing in the news um, and just the the environment around us that anxiety and depression has increased quite a bit um, in society and not just among adults, but also adolescents. Yes. So I will share my statistics I found and you you can share yours. Okay. And... Two of these come from the CDC and one comes from the World Health Organization. But the first one says that during January 2021 to February 1st, 2021, 23.8% of persons with symptoms of anxiety or depressive disorder had unmet mental health needs. And this was an increase by 2.8% from August 2020. Mm -hmm. Uh, The other one from the CDC says during 2020 to February 2021, the percentage of adults with recent symptoms of anxiety or a depressive disorder increased from 36.4% to 41.5%. Okay. And this last statistic comes from WHO, the World Health Organization. Mental health conditions account for 16% of disease and injury in people ages 10 to 19 years old. Wow. So go ahead and share your statistics. Well, what I found, and I got a lot of my statistics from the CDC as well, but um, one in five Americans, 18 or older, have experienced a mental illness in the last year. And one in 25 people have experienced like a serious mental illness. And what I mean by that is something that's actually really um, affected their their ability to function to be able to work and to be able to sustain what's normally what their life looks like. Mm -hmm. Um, But also it's not just adults. Uh, One in five kids um, have had a seriously debilitating mental disorder in the last year. And over half of those cases begin before the age of 14. So I thought that was really interesting to think that, you know, we think about teenagers a lot of times, you know, having anxiety and we think about how, you know, they've, they've got a lot going on. But I think it's really interesting to think about how that is younger kids, too. Over half of them, it's before they're even 14 that they're starting to struggle with this. Um, and then I found just a couple of statistics as far as just suicide. Um, and I didn't realize that it's the 10th leading cause of death in the U.S. Wow. And that it is the second leading cause of death between 15 and 34-year-olds. Mm-hmm. So I thought that, to me, that just was really... Um, I just couldn't really, when I read that, I was just astonished that it was that high. I had no idea that it, that was one of the main causes of death in the U.S. Mm-hmm. So, um, and by the way, I'm Josh Embry. I don't think I introduced <laughs> myself. Jenny Cummings. And yeah, I'm Jenny Cummings. I'm the public health director here um, at the health department, and Jenny is our educator for the academy. So now that we got the introductions out of the way and statistics, so, you know, I think mental health has been an issue uh, for years now, not just in the, our nation, but in the world. Yes. Um, but something more recent, more recent, I think has contributed um, to mental health issues, and that's the pandemic. I think so too. So, you know, especially amongst adolescents, I think schools, when they shut down and kids were forced to stay at home, when they're at school, it may not feel as normal mm-hmm. because they're separated more, they're wearing masks. Um, so there's all these different things that are factors that are, that may be pushing that data yeah. um, upward. And I think too, you know, all people we have this tendency we we try to regulate ourselves and have control by having like routines and predictability and know what's knowing what's going on in our life. So anytime you have something that happens like the pandemic, 
that makes us really question like, oh gosh, you know, we don't have a lot of control over things and school doesn't look like it should and work doesn't. I'm working from home and uh, trying to navigate those waters. We start feeling antsy because this world we've known and that we've created and our little pocket of normalcy is not normal anymore. Mm -hmm. And so I think that that really has um, attributed to all this increase in mental health uh, issues in the last especially the last year, is because people are kind of scrambling to find normalcy and they're uncertain about the future. That causes anxiety. And so I think it's it has been really hard for people. Mm -hmm. um, and your numbers show, you know, people who normally maybe weren't struggling at all or hadn't had issues with um, mental illness. I'm really exciting. I'm really I'm, I'm exciting. I'm really excited to talk to the counselors that are coming to do some other podcasts that we're going to offer this month to see like, um, where, what is the increase in like people even seeking therapy and counseling over the last year versus in years past? Mm -hmm. So you hit the nail on the head where I want to go next. And that's basically to talk about our four podcast episodes that yeah. we're going to be releasing, um, for mental health awareness month. So this is actually our first right. one before. So it's just a general intro as well as to tell people, you know, in the community, why we think that this is a public health need. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is to look at the yeah. statistics to, to understand that it is a public health need. It is. Most of us probably know if, if it has an impact at our lives, maybe another family that we know mm -hmm. of, of someone who's committed suicide. Yeah. Um, and I think by us talking about it, and I know that, um, Josh, you feel the same way, like our, our hope is this month is to somehow normalize the fact that if we talk about it, it may be just enough for that person out here, there who's been kind of struggling with or dealing with it to know, like, I'm not alone. There is help out there, and there's no shame in getting help and to do things for yourself to help your mental health. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of my big things is I feel like when we talk about it, it makes someone else to be less afraid to admit that they maybe struggle with it too. Mm -hmm. Especially with, you know, social media, you know, people tend to personify a... A narrative of perfection mm -hmm. um, on their social media accounts and people who are dealing with mental health issues whether it be depression or anxiety you know we're all attached to our phones these days mm -hmm. and we're all guilty of comparing our lives to someone yeah. else and when you do that it seems like you're the only one out there that's dealing mm -hmm. with these problems when you're looking at all these perfect happy what seems yeah. to be happy pictures and posts yeah from other people. Well, and I love that you mentioned social media because I do think there's that whole comparison issue that goes on. We see other people, their lives look better, they look happier or whatever. But I think there's also just this thing of like um, the way our culture, we numb out and we use social media in a way to not have to think about things and not have to deal with our problems and not have to deal with, you know, rather than me think about what's hurting on the inside and what I'm dealing with, I'm just going to tune in to um, social media, TikTok, whatever that is. And those things aren't bad in themselves, but mm -hmm. I think sometimes it's kind of like a twofold problem. That yeah. those that thing that we're numbing out on actually makes us feel worse. Yeah, it's feeding that, yes. that those emotions and feelings. So let's talk about the podcast. Um, the, you know, the second podcast um, that we're going to be doing, as I said, this one is the first one, um, is going to be suicide prevention, um, which is something that's very important um, of course, like I said, some, you know, either in our family or a family we mm -hmm. know of, um, we can uh, not maybe relate, but understand because, you know, that family or our mm -hmm. family has been impacted yeah. by suicide because somebody near to us or near to them committed suicide. Yeah. So we're going to be talking with Fuller Counseling, which is a, is, a, is a newer group of counselors here in the county. They're actually located on the basement floor of the health department here. Yeah. Um, our and neighbors. Yeah, our neighbors. <laughs> and they their main office is, is in Bowling Green, but now they have a branch office here and they're going to be discussing uh, suicide prevention. And then you have somebody that's coming from which counseling agency? Uh, Twin Lakes uh, Behavioral Health and Wellness. Okay. And they're going to be talking about what? We're going to be talking about we're going to take a look at kids and as parents, how can we maybe know when kids are struggling with anxiety and depression, uh, what to kind of look for, how we can help them and resources that are available. So okay. all those questions about your kids, we're going to be kind of talking about that. 
Okay. And then the, the last one, which will be the fourth episode, we're going to be talking about new moms. Mm-hmm. And so maybe dabbing into um, postpartum depression. Right. And, and, you know, we, when you get beyond that or outside that, just this, the stress of being mm-hmm. a, a mom. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're going to be discussing that, or dad, yeah, um, with yeah. hands, um, which is a, is a wonderful program here at the health department that, that collaborates and, and works with mom and dad and, and builds parenting skills. Yes. Yeah. So. And hopefully with each podcast that we do, you know, our goal is just to let you know just a, a little bit more detail about a certain aspect of mental health, but also uh, for you to get tools and information on if this is something you're struggling with yourself on how to deal with that, uh, things that you can do to help yourself and uh, maybe be able to help to someone else. So we're hoping that's something you'll kind of be able to glean from each podcast that we do. Exactly. So I'm really excited about this month. Um, I think it, it, it's a month that we should not just gloss over. Right. We I should really so reflect and, and take the time to discuss um, things and the important topics with people. Um, and so these, these four podcasts, I encourage um, everyone in the community to give them a listen um, because like you said, if it's something that you personally may be going through, but maybe it's not, maybe you know someone else that's going mm-hmm. through these things and you can help them yes. um, and be that resource to those people. So we're, our hopes is that we're going to be able to release a podcast episode for each week. There's four weeks in May and um, in, 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 um, in the week or in the month and, uh, solidly. Yeah. So, but that's pretty much all we have to say today is just the intro of things. And we're going to be coming back, um, hopefully, uh, sometime next week, um, with our, with our episodes, or it may be actually the following week. We may have to play catch up a little bit, um, because we have to, our episodes, we have to send them off and get them edited Mm -hmm. and get them put together in a good format. So they're more professional. Yeah. Hopefully we'll have one maybe to, um, maybe by Friday of each week. That would be be nice. Okay. All right. So as always, uh, the health department is here. If you need any of our resources, um, even outside of mental health, we offer a lot of different things. Um, for mental health, we don't have a counselor here, but we can always refer you on to, to somebody. Um, so our number is 270-259-3141. And we'll be back within the next few days as we uh, reflect on mental health awareness. Yeah.